I'm not going to move fast just to move fast. Got to got to make sure you move the right way um, and do the right things and get the right person. There's a lot of good coaches out there. I had to get the right person, the right coach for this football program, and the right leader for the football program. So, but there's no question the world has changed a little bit so it's compressed and you want to move quickly you want to move swiftly you want to um, move so that it's in the best interest of our players and our student athletes that's what I'm doing so uh, uh, you know I I'm not intimidated or concerned about that but it's certainly a factor you've got to keep in mind were you interviewing as soon as Sunday Pardon? Were you interviewing as soon as Sunday? Um, I get my timeline right. This has been a, felt like three weeks, but I guess it's only been three days. But um, yeah, I think we were you know talking to a lot of people um, on Sunday. How many, how many people did you interview? You know, the initial group I'd say was around you know that was seven to ten people early on. Kind of went narrowed down to four ish, five drop down to two, you know, kind of, as you guys would expect, but, you know, and moving pretty quick through those guys. With this being January instead of early December, does that take a different context to a search? Do you have to approach it differently now that it's not your usual coaching search time of year? Well, again, I, you know, I think you need to be ready at any time of the year now in the new, uh, the new landscape that exists out there. So you've got to be ready to move quickly. Uh, efficiently, effectively, have people in mind that you want to talk to. People you can go and talk to. I, you know, I talk to a lot of people outside of coaches, uh, people that I trust that are in the business on the NFL side, the college side, uh, retired coaches. You know, so I mean, I'm talking to those people all the time. So, it, yeah, you got to be ready to move. And as far as balancing, trying to stabilize the roster with trying to get a long-term builder for this program, where was your mindset on that going into this? Look, uh, I. I want someone who can lead this football program that first cares first and foremost about the student athletes and the players. Um, it's people first, as Coach Brennan said, you know, and we'll, if we take care of the people side of this, everything else can fall into place. Um, I want someone who cares deeply about people, the players, and their ability to be successful. And uh, that's the kind of person I want. Dave, were there any new things that stood out to you about Brent that maybe hadn't three years ago? Well, certainly he's, he's grown as a coach over the last three years. He's grown as an individual. He's been successful. He's been in the heat of things, made decisions. So anytime you, you can lead a program and you continue to do that, you learn more. You, you've been in the, in the fray and in the battle, and that makes you a better coach, a more tested coach. So regarding Abor, um, obviously that was kind of an issue with the previous coach contract situation. What's different about this that you're able to move the ball forward and you know get done what you need to get done as it pertains to that you know bureaucracy? Element? Well, we have a vacancy. We need to fill the vacancy. The board has been supportive of that, and we've done that. That's it. That's simple as that. Hey, I'm a, I'm a front front windshield guy. Okay, I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking through the rearview mirror and trying to analyze the roadkill. Not going to do that. When you when you talked to the players for the first time on Sunday, you said uh, we were, you said the next time you'll meet with them when you're introducing a new head coach. How confident were you in the process and the speed of the process at that point? I was very confident. Okay, I mean, again, uh, I, I, I'm, I, I, I just say it like it is. And, and with our players, I'm very honest. Uh, I think that's the only way you can be with people and certainly with players and their families. And the, uh, I told them what I thought was important. I told them that I needed them to trust me. Uh, I'm in it with them. And the next time I was going to talk to them, it was my hope. I don't think I said I was going to walk right in with it, but my hope was I will, I'm going to give you come in here with somebody that can lead this program. And uh, so that happened within 24 hours, I guess. Maybe I lose track of the hours. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> you, uh, do you intend on having uh, Coach Brendan at the basketball game tonight to uh, introduce to the, the crowd? I think he's going to be there tonight. I think we're trying to work through some things, but I think that's definitely a possibility. Yeah. There's no way to predict the future, of course, but you have mentioned how you feel like you have to do this every year or be ready all the time. Do you feel like in Brent Brennan, because he loves this place so much, he's been here before, relationship with Dick Tomey, that this could be a long-term relationship? Well, that's the intent uh, for a long-term relationship, somebody that'll see it through, that's really committed, wants to be here, has a strong appreciation for the program and a love for the program that I think is very apparent. Um, and I think that goes a long ways. And uh, uh, definitely committed to the players and committed to making this program the best it can be. I, I think it's a long-term uh, deal. That's my, my take on it. 
Dave, I promise I'm asking this to not have you already renegotiating his deal. I, I, I say this in the sense that you, with the financial circumstances that have been facing the university, that have been facing the athletic department, do you feel you guys got a value out of this too, financially speaking, considering where the contract is compared to where, and I know you don't want to go backward, but compared to where the reports were that it would have been potentially as recent as a week ago with the prior coach? Do you guys feel like you financially put yourselves in a good situation with this considering everything going on? I think every situation is its own. So uh, the, the situation with our previous staff is not related to this one. We went out, we're hiring the best coach under the best circumstances that we can. Um, the reality of this situation is, hey, uh, because of some of the coaches' movement um, through the buyouts, there's some resources that we gain. Um, we've made a very prudent financial decision. But as I've said, we're going to continue to invest in our primary revenue sports, and a big one is football, and we're going to invest in football. So I'm not stepping back from that one in instance. Um,